Hi, this is Scott Wyden-Kivowitz from Imagely. Today, I want to talk to you about a new update to Google Image Search. Now, if you, as you can see here, I did a search for New Orleans. And in the result, you have this bar up top that is color-coded, but the colors really don't mean much related to what the words inside the boxes say. It's just a differentiator based on category or, or uh, related uh, wording. What the words are related to each other, the colors are related to that as well. Okay, so uh, basically, um, you can see here that it basically shows up with different areas. So right here are different areas uh, in, in that of what Google recognizes based on EXIF data, based on, um, you know, key, uh, file names, based on alt tags, descriptions of the, of, the, of the images, as well as the actual page that the um, areas are, that the photos actually show up on. But then Google actually added new algorithms, which detect, use image recognition to detect different places based on um, where this is compared to a Google map, for example, uh, it will show up, you know, street view, it'll actually be tagged depending on that. So you got red light district. Now, if I click on, let's say Canal Street, sometimes it'll have additional, you know, uh, uh, tags here. So I can say I want to see Canal Street with a car and it'll come down to Canal Street with a car. Now it's saying this train car, this trolley car is a car. Technically, I guess it is. Um, I can remove that filter. And now you can see here, I can, let's say a Walgreen. So there's Walgreen Drugs, um, and I can uncheck that. I can see the Doubletree Hotel over here, and it's doing all of that. Um, I can remove that and go back to the main filter. So you can see I can actually filter down. Now, not every single one is going to have subfilters. So this one only has one. Um, I can see at night. That's a pretty cool filter that I can actually filter down that far. Um, let's say we can say I actually want to see the Treme section of New Orleans. So here we go. Here's the Treme section. Or I can say I want to see Uptown. Or uh, let's say we will go down to over here to the Westin. So here's different hotels. Right? Um, or we go over here, Superdome. Right? So here's a stadium. So as you can see, the filtering is really neat um, with, with this. It, it's really, really neat of what you can do um, with that. Now, I think there is even, there was an example I wanted to show if I can find it. Uh, maybe it was in the New York. Let's see. Nope, wasn't the New York one. Where was it? Um, there was a, a, a another thing I wanted to show that's really cool that it's actually doing as well. Um, let's see if I can find it easily. No, I don't know if I'll find it that easily. Was it here? No. Okay. Um, but what I wanted to show you was that uh, it also can search by words. So it's doing word recognition, sort of, uh, for these filters. Now, um, I, I really wish I can show you the example. But it's not showing up here. It was showing up for my search. But let me do another search and see. Uh, yeah, it's not showing up right now, but it was. Uh, basically, the word market showed up in the top filters up here. And when I search, when I found uh, filter down to market, it actually showed me images that had the word market from a sign in it. Uh, and of course, it's not showing me now. But um, if I go down to Canal Street and then Walgreen, you can see that Walgreen is in the word. So it's another good example. I just it wasn't the original example I wanted to show, but that's a good example. It's actually detecting the word Walgreen in these images in addition to the location and everything it can detect from its other algorithms. But um, that goes to show you that Google is actually looking at multiple things now. They're starting to look at the EXIF data. They're connecting to um, the maps of where Street View, for, you know, for where things are. They're connecting to landmarks that are recognizable. They're connecting to the words that are inside of of the photo. So the word bourbon, technically, if I search for New Orleans bourbon, this should really come up in some way, shape or form. Um, but with the filters, it actually uh, should be in there as well. Uh, you know, like bourbon street or something like that. So um, there's a lot of really cool things. There's another one, which I'll see if I can uh, get to in another filter and then another search. So here's New York. Um, let's see if we can find another one of 
uh, from New York. Let's see, Midtown. Okay, so that's not letting me filter too much after that. Let's see if we can find um, Empire State Building. These are all going to just going to be Empire State Building. It won't be on the street level. I want to see if I can get something with people in it. Let's try New York City just like this. Nope, that's not going to do it either. So let's try streets. All right, so let's see if this does it. Manhattan? Again, not letting me filter. So the other thing was that it's it's hard to, uh, it's, it's a brand new thing, so it's it's really hard for me to make Google do this without knowing the exact uh, search to utilize. But what I wanted to show was if I search for, um, actually, let's try this. Um, um, ah, so take a look at this. Google is now seeing, I search for mother and child. And Google is seeing different, uh, you know, races. So I can actually look at just Japanese. And of course, you know, it may not be precise. It's going to use its its algorithms to determine if the content is actually Japanese or Filipino or Chinese or African and so on and so forth. So it may not be perfect, but it's a really nice way to filter down if you really need to, depending on things. Um, and it looks here, you can actually, you know, mother and child of a cat, right? So uh, you can actually filter by that. Now, there is another one, another ability to filter by facial recognition of uh, expressions. So um, let's see if I can find one of just a, nope, that's not going to do it. So it's really hard to, like I said before, to make Google do what I'm trying to, to demo when I don't, it's so new, I don't know what the actual word is to, to the keyword to search to actually demonstrate this. But uh, I did stumble upon these in, in my journeys of testing this feature. Basically, while searching for, let's say, wedding photography, you can find, oops, I spelled that wrong. You can actually find, um, different, you know, uh, facial expressions. So um, a happy couple or, uh, you know, a sad couple or a crying um, wedding, let's say wedding toast. So drunk, <laughs> you could find a drunk, drunk people doing wedding toasts or um, funny. So I'm assuming this will be people laughing. Oh, okay. So it's actually, they're actually going to, to, um, e-cards and silly things like that, but, um, to your bride. All right. So, but you get the idea. Uh, eventually there is a facial expressions will actually show up in here as well, but, uh, I'm not able to find that. So you can also see there's colors here. So you could always, uh, search by color, um, with image search. I forgot where it was advanced search. I believe it was, um, oh, search tools. You were always able to filter by color, but now they're sort of just throwing it into, you know, uh, a top filter here as well, uh, where it fits. So this is really cool. Um, different ways to filter. Now, this is going to be great for you to know what you need to optimize for. So it's also going to be good for you to know what people are searching for. So you can say, um, so if I say Colorado weddings, so somebody might be searching for this. And these are going to be top searches, really, these keywords. These are going to be things that people are searching for and clicking on on a regular basis for whatever the, the search keyword you are searching for. So if I'm a Colorado wedding photographer, well, I want to find out what people are looking for in Colorado when they're, look, when they're planning a wedding, this is what you want to look at because now you know, okay, I can actually optimize a images as well as content, you know, text content, an actual page or post to a destination Colorado wedding. I can click in and filter that even further and see if people are, are digging into the nitty gritty even further in that specific um, tag. Or I can say uh, uh, Estes Park, which is a beautiful park, and Colorado Wedding in Estes Park. Again, people are not searching any further, but not only are they getting inspiration, but hopefully they'd find you. So right now the first person here is marryminecolorado.com, and then the second is coloradoweddingvenue.com. Now, if I was a wedding photographer, I'd want to compete with both of these. So if I was a wedding photographer in Colorado, I mean, I'd want to compete with both of these. So I would do my, my research, see that people are wanting to look at Estes Park in Colorado for their wedding, and I would optimize my content for that specifically.
So this helps in multiple ways. Um, it's really cool. And uh, again, Google changes quite often. Stay on top of it and make sure your images are tagged with your XF data, make sure the file names are the correct are correct, and make sure you are doing your due diligence to optimize your post fully. If you need help, go to imagely.com slash SEO and grab our image SEO uh, tutorial. Thanks for watching.